Hey you guys, I'm super excited to be back at it with another video for you guys. I took a week off because of Christmas and the holidays, but I'm super excited to be back. I cannot believe that 2019 is tomorrow. I am super, super excited about it. I feel like 2019 is going to be the year. Let's make this a good, good year. Now I'm going to be talking about in this video, my best of 2018 makeup products. I'm super excited to share these with you guys. I don't do free favorite videos, but I think I'm just going to do like an end of the year favorites. So I'm going to show you everything that I loved in 2018. So if you're interested in seeing that, then go ahead and just keep on watching. These two big bands of products, so this is going to take me a while to go through. I'm gonna try to go through it quickly, but I do have a lot of products here. So we're just going to start off with this first bin. It has all of my face products in it. I'm going to start off with primers. So I have, for primers, I have the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. This one fills in your pores. It makes you look poreless, and this is a really cheap, good, affordable option for a primer. If you want a more hydrating primer, I would go with the Master Prime Primer Base Hydrate and Smooth. This is really nice. This feels like a lotion, but yet it still increases the long wear of your, of your makeup. If you want a more higher, higher end version of the Maybelline Master Prime, I would go with the Too Faced Hangover RX. It does the same exact thing as this one. They're both very hydrating, but yet they prolong the longevity of your makeup. And then for another primer, this is the Becca First Light Priming Filter. This is so beautiful. It gives your skin this nice glow. That way you can put it on underneath your foundation and the glow just kind of comes through. So it what makes it look so ethereal and just glowy. This is a really, really nice primer. I love this as well. Next for foundations, this is my Holy Grail foundation. I've talked about this a couple of times. This is super nice. This is what I wear when I don't want a full coverage foundation. I just want like a little something on my skin. This is basically a BB cream. It doesn't, it's not, it doesn't claim to be a BB cream, but I personally think that it is a BB cream, but you can build it up, up to light medium coverage. And this is so beautiful. It kind of like blurs all the imperfection on your skin. It's super amazing. I love this foundation. It is a little bit drying though, so make sure you moisturize very well before you put this on. And another favorite of mine was the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. This is beautiful and full coverage and it just makes your skin look flawless. I love this. This is what I wear if I want, if I have a lot of acne and problems. This is what I put on. It just covers everything so beautifully and it stays on really, really well. And of course, I have to talk about this one. This is the Fenty Beauty Foundation by Rihanna. This is beautiful as well. It is, it says that it's a soft matte, long wear foundation. That is true, but this is another one of those that is kind of drying on the skin, so you really, really have to moisturize before you put this on. Unless you have really oily skin, then I think you will love this. Now this is, this is a beautiful foundation as well. I, I can't get enough of this one. And the last foundation that really stood out to me this year is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion. This is a luminous foundation and it just feels so nice on the skin and looks beautiful. But this one really, really stands out to me. I really love this. And for concealers, of course, I have to talk about the Tarte Shape Tape. This is full coverage. It's everybody's favorite. I really love this one. And I also have the ColourPop No Filter Concealer. This is very full coverage as well. And it lo just looks beautiful on your skin and it's super affordable. It's $6 for this, which is amazing. It's a really, really beautiful concealer. 
And then I have to talk about the Makeup Revolution Super Size Conceal and Define Concealer. This is beautiful as well. It's very hydrating on the skin. It's super beautiful. This is another one of those that I just couldn't get away from wearing. This one reminds me a lot of the ColourPop one, and this one is affordable as well. These are just two really, really great concealers. The next one that I have to talk about is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. This one is beautiful as well. It's full coverage and hydrating. Those are things that I really look for in a concealer. I just want them to be full coverage to cover up all of my under eye bags and I want them to be super blendable. The last concealer that I have to talk about is going to be the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. This is a beautiful concealer as well. I use this almost on an every single day basis. It's super beautiful. Now I only have two pressed powders to talk about. These two pressed powders really stood out to me this year. This one right here is the ColourPop No Filter uh, pressed powder and this one is beautiful it just really sets the makeup down in place and it's very affordable too all of ColourPop's products are very affordable and this one I got at Walmart this one is a favorite of mine you can tell because I hit pan on it but it is so beautiful and nice you just dunk your brush in and swirl it all on the face and it just leaves it looking flawless for loose setting powders this ColourPop No Filter Setting Powder is very good as well. It really sets the under eyes very nicely. It doesn't leave them creasy looking. It just makes it look flawless and smooth. And same goes for the Maybelline Fit Me um, Loose Powder. This one's very nice as well. It really sets the under eyes in place. The next one that I have to talk about is this powder by Thrive Cosmetics. Thrive Cosmetics is a brand that really stood out to me this year. They make amazing products and their, their brand does amazing things. Every time you buy something, they donate a product to a woman in need. So I love the cause. And this powder is very nice. It sets your under eyes in place very nice and smooth as well. Plus it has this little mesh thing that I love. It makes it so easy to just dunk your sponge in there and then get right underneath the under eyes. I'm in love with the packaging as well as the powder. It's super beautiful. And for setting sprays, I have the Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray. This is a very nice setting spray. So if you only want to buy one one product to prime and set your face. This would be what I would recommend for you. It smells amazing, it smells like coconuts, and you can just squirt this on your face before you apply makeup and then just kind of let it dry and um, then apply your makeup and it'll improve the longevity of your makeup wear. And then once you're done with your makeup, you can just spray your face and set it. And that'll improve, improve the long wear of your makeup as well. So I love this product. The next one that I have to talk about is this Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is amazing. This doesn't really this doesn't really prolong the longevity of my makeup wear, but it just feels so nice on the skin and it really does enhance your makeup. It's not necessarily going to set it. It's going to melt all of the products into your skin that way they look that way the products on your skin look natural and I love the mister on this it just is like this continuous oh I just want to bathe myself in this and this Critrice a prime and fine doing glow fixing spray is beautiful it makes your skin look so dewy and moisturized it and healthy I love this so much it just makes your your makeup look beautiful this is a really really affordable bowl spray as well um i'm not sure how how much this is but i'll list all of the products in the description box below as well as the price on them but i i really love this spray as well the last spray that i have to talk about is this flower beauty seal the deal hydrating setting spray this is in the dewy finish i prefer dewy finish sprays that way it just kind of makes your skin look healthy and alive and not matte and flat 
so this is beautiful as well and this one does um, make your makeup stay in place all day too so I'm in love with this one okay and don't judge me because I haven't it's because I didn't clean my sponges for this video but I have a couple of sponges that were my absolute favorites this year now Number one is the Beauty Blender. You can't get away from the Beauty Blender. It's, it'll always be my favorite, but I did find two other ones that come very close for me. And this one is the Thrive Cosmetics sponge. It's super beautiful and it just has this unique sponge shape to it. It's like, it's very rounded on this side, very much so like the Beauty Blender, but then it has this little flat edge right here, and it's really nice to just get right underneath the under eyes to set your powder in place. So I love this one. And the next one is gonna be the Juno & Co Velvet Sponge. This makes your skin look flawless when you apply your foundation with it. And it's super easy to just get in there and it just makes it look so smooth and I'm in love with this one as well. Those were my kind of base products. Next we're gonna get into the fun products right here. And I think I'm going to start off with bronzers, now this one is the Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer. I'm pretty sure all of you have heard of it. It's super beautiful. I have mine in the shade Bronzer. And it just, it smells amazing. I love it. It smells like you're at the beach. And I just, I love it every time I put my bronzer on. And my next favorite is the Thrive Cosmetics Raya Bronzer. This is beautiful and it just makes me look so, so bronze and beautiful. And I just, I love this so much. This is another good, good bronzer. And next for blush, I have these um, Burt's Bees blushes. And I have, this one is in Bare Peach and this one is in Toasted Cinnamon. These are beautiful, beautiful blushes. I love these so much. They look so beautiful and healthy on the skin. I'm all about beautiful, healthy products, if you can't tell, but these are super beautiful. I love these so much. These I have been wearing on a daily basis. These are my holy grail blushes right here, as well as these by Flower Beauty. I have this one in Sweet Pea and this one in Peach Primrose. Now these are beautiful as well. These are holy grails for me, um, as well as the Burt's Bees ones, but these are just so beautiful. Like look at these colors. Mm, and they're super pigmented and beautiful. I love these. And next for highlighter, I have, um, I guess I only have two highlighters that I absolutely fell in love with this year. The first one is this Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. Now this thing is amazing. Like I'm wearing it on my cheeks today and look at that glow. It's so beautiful. I only ever use this end shade right here just because these other two are kind of on the deeper side for me. So this one really suits my skin tone very well. So this what I have been wearing on a daily basis. And the other highlighter lighter that stood out to me this year was the Fenty Beauty. Um, this is the All Over Diamond Veil in How Many Carrots. This thing is beautiful. It just gives you this really nice, like shimmery, pretty highlight. And I love this thing. And the packaging is so beautiful. I. I love this. This, I've worn it as eyeshadow, I've worn it as highlighter. It's so good to just do whatever you feel like with this. I love this. And for lip products, I know I've kind of been going crazy about Fenty Beauty, but she just makes such good products and she killed it this year with everything that she came out with. Now, these for lips, these are her Stunna lip paints. And these two are my favorite. Ah, I just love these so much. I love red and kind of like mauve nude lips. So this red one is in Uncensored. And this one is in Uncuffed. They're so beautiful. They have a unique 
applicator on them and they just look gorgeous. I'm in love with these. And she also came out with these, um, these gloss bombs. So this one is in her new, or not her newest one, but this is in the second one that she came out with in Diamond Milk. I love this one. And then I love the original one, which is in my bathroom right now in the Fenty Glow. So beautiful and stunning. I cannot get enough of these. They just leave your lips looking so lush and juicy. I'm, I love these. And for eyeshadow palettes, the first one that I have been loving is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. Now this one is super, super stunning. These have all of these everyday shades that I love. I just cannot get enough of this palette. I love this so much. I love this so much. It just gives me that warm, neutrally colors. Mm, I just love these. And the other eyeshadow palette that I have to talk to you about is the Milani Bold Up Sessions eyeshadow palette. I'm in love with this. I have a full dedicated video on my top six eyeshadow palettes. I'll link it down below. That way you guys can go watch it if you want to. But I talked about this one and I love this. You can do multiple different eye looks with it. You have your everyday nudes, your kind of warmer tones, and then your cooler tones as well. So this one I love and wear every day. The two mascaras that stood out to me this year are the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara. Super beautiful, a total dupe for the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I'm in love with this. And the second one is the Thrive Cosmetics Lash Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. I love this as well. It's a nice tubing mascara, which tubing means is that it kind of creates a little barrier around your eyelashes so that when you go to take it off, all you have to do is use water and it literally comes right off. It's so nice and hassle-free. You don't have to stand there picking at your eyelashes for like for 20 minutes trying to get all of the mascara off. So this is my favorite mascara as well. My my everyday brow products are also another favorite of mine for 20, 2018. This is the ColourPop Precision Brow Pencil. This is in the shade Champagne Blonde. This is really nice and just a very precise eye pencil that can create those hair-like strokes and fill in my brows. And then I set it in place with the Essence Make Me Brow um, I brow, this is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Mascara, which is super nice. It has little fibers in it to create more fluffy brows. On that note, we went through all of my favorite 2018 products, which I'm super excited about. Now, these are products that I'm going to be taking into 2019 with me. They're so good. And I cannot wait to see what new makeup products come out in 2019. I'm super excited. 2019 is going to be our year. I love you guys so much. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.